are talking about football and music, two things that we love, and apparently so does Taylor Swift. Maybe not so much the football, maybe just the guy that's playing football. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She ended up going to the Kansas City Chiefs game, mm-hmm. and she was there watching that Kelsey boy. Travis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not his brother. His, it wasn't his brother. But she was hanging out with Donna Kelsey, who is really the MVP. Can we talk about that for just a moment? Kelsey mama, Donna Kelsey, she had two boys playing in the Super Bowl. Then they were at Saturday Night Live, and now she's sitting in the suite next to Taylor Swift. She's living her best life. Hey, Charlie, I bet she got verified. I was just thinking, I hope the Kansas City Chiefs verified Taylor to get the sweet access. Uh, <laughs> I really, the, the best thing ever would be if we found out that Don and Kelsey leaned over and said, hey, I was wondering if you could give me a couple tickets to your next show. Now <laughs> that, yeah. that would be amazing. Trey, you know, you know yeah. I yeah. didn't get verified. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that was the whole thing, know. though, right? Because right. Travis went to the Arrowhead show right. and said what a great show it was. Now you come see me sometime, right? Yes. yes. Well, Travis went to the Taylor Swift show yeah. at Arrowhead Stadium. He wanted to shoot his shot backstage. Uh-huh. He was ready to meet her. But the thing is, Taylor has so many shows back to back. She doesn't do any meet and greets. And, you know, I can understand why. If she was to get sick or mm-hmm. lose her voice or anything like that, the whole thing is shot. So she didn't do any meet and greets, and he was really sad about that. And he said, I didn't get to meet her. I wanted to say, <laughs> I watched you rock Arrowhead. Yeah. Now maybe you should come and watch me They're rock so Arrowhead. They're so cute at that age, aren't, aren't they? they? Yes. Oh, oh, come on, I'd do it if I think anybody would fall for it. I just oh. don't have enough pull to do it. <laughs> I think they call that Riz, Charlie. Yeah, whatever they call it. Yeah, yeah there yeah. it is. I have none of it, so. <laughs> I had none, I have none. That's my problem. Well, we loved seeing it. It was really uh, fun to watch her. And, of course, she was cheering for the Chiefs, and they ended up winning, so it was all good. Oh, did they ever. Yeah, Yeah, they ended up winning. Okay, so then we move to Sunday Night Football, Mm -hmm. and it's in Las Vegas. And we know who's in Las Vegas, Mrs. Sunday Night Football herself, Carrie Underwood. Mm -hmm. She's there with a reflection um, residency that she has going on in Las Vegas. So she decided, you know what? I mean, I am singing the theme song. Maybe I should pop in and take in the game. Mm-hmm. It was wild. So she shows up, and of course, they show her on the Jumbotron. They bring her down. They start talking to her. They actually let her go into the booth and watch her opening in the broadcast booth. Cool. So she mm-hmm. got to see it. Yeah, they did a good interview with her, too. She was very good. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. She's scary. Mm-hmm. She's great. Um, I bet Taylor verified her. Maybe. Just yeah. saying. I would say. Make People don't bad. need the verification. Get it. I know. <laughs> they all do. It's, how, it's a good life lesson for all the young folk out there. There you, you go. Yeah. That's how unfair things really that, are. That's it's right. like when you're yeah. rich, they give you free stuff. That's how it works. <laughs> so here's the real fallout, though, from Carrie being at the game last night. Apparently, she has never been to a Sunday night football game. This is the first time oh, since no she kidding. has been singing uh, uh, the theme song for over 10 years. Uh, uh, this is her 11th year. Uh, so... The platform known as X, which was Twitter forever, went nuts. People were going crazy. They were losing their minds saying, what? She's been lying to me this whole time. I thought she was waiting all day for Sunday night, and she was not. So the fact that she got to take in a Sunday night football game after singing that theme song for many years was something that everyone loved to talk about. Okay, so Luke Bryan had to cancel a show. This is one of his farm tour shows, and this was like a preemptive strike. They knew that there was going to be some really bad weather moving in. So he went to social media on Saturday to reveal that he was forced to cancel his gig in Minnesota on Saturday night due to, quote, impending weather. Bryan said that his band were able to perform um, as a part of the tour. They were able to perform as part of it, but they said that they were afraid that they were going to have all of the things coming in they decided to cancel it last minute for security reasons so it wasn't because he was sick or because anybody in the band was sick it was just we know that we've got some weather moving in and when you're if you've ever been to one of his concerts when he does the farm tour it is in the middle of a field it's there's no shelter anywhere oh yeah plus you're probably gonna get muddy if it or it's not hey, hey. it's not oh, yeah. concrete hey. you know so. yeah this is minnesota yeah, yeah. Garrison, well that's true garrison keeler said it best that's true yeah. Where the women are strong, all the men are good looking, and all the children are above average. That's a good point. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. and the weather is also yeah. tumultuous at times. It's the home of the Norwegian bachelor farmers that Garrison used to talk about. Said so they really come alive when it gets to about 11 degrees.